All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next exciting episode of Smash or Pass, an intellectual conversation about America's first ladies. We are here at the dorm room in Westchester. I'm here with Otis Timlin. How's it going? And Mike Effin McGowan. Pleasure to be here. All right, gents, we're going to the end. Are we ready? Yes. Let's do it. All right, we are starting this episode off with Hillary Clinton. Old Hill Dog became active in presidential politics early in her life in the mid-60s. She went to Yale Law School. That's where she met old Bill. Uh, and they worked together on the 1972 George McGovern presidential campaign together. They were married in 1975 and moved to Arkansas where they had one kid. Um, while Bill was the governor, she worked as a lawyer. Um, during his presence, she was she was very active and visible during it. She always stood by her man during all his many sexual assault cases. Um, she was an active advisor and pushed for health care reform, failed miserably. In 2000, she ran for the Senate in, in New York, and she won, and again was reelected in 2006. She ran for president or the uh, Democrat primary in 2008, failed miserably, but still became secretary of the state under the Obama administration. She was the most traveled secretary of state, traveling into 112 countries in four years. In 2016, she became the first ever female candidate of a major party for the election. Failed there, despite the fact that she told lots of black people how much she likes hot sauce. And now she is currently a public speaker and avid election denier. Hmm. <laughs> Mike McGowan. Great let's, facts. Great, great facts. There, now, there's no lies here. This I read the, this in a yeah, book. This was the first fully slanted introduction of a first lady that I think we've had. What was and what, I fucking like it. Please tell me one fact that no, no, is no, not it didn't true say there. facts. <laughs> I failed miserably. Failed miserably. <laughs> I love it. Uh left hand side, crazy eyes. I think she's from like Sissy Spacek in that fucking Carrie movie or like The Shining. She looks fucking nuts. I'm in cuz she's nuts. And then on the right, she's just the most disgusting human being ever. I'm out. So I'm in, and then I'm okay. out. Okay. Otis Timlin, what do we think about Hill Dog? In on both. In Ooh. on both easily. Um, it'd be a hate fucking. Ah, <laughs> there we go. Hate there fucking. We go. Just the loathing afterwards. I'll tell you what, what I really respect about Hillary Clinton, and I think this is... No, I really do actually like this, because this is something I do. I would... Uh, 2016 accepted $10 million to Clinton Foundation from Saudi Arabia. Avid uh, feminist Hillary Clinton. Uh, 2018, that's two years after 2016, Saudi Arabia says, you know what, maybe women can drive. <laughs> Go right ahead. She Go, did it. Yeah, yeah. Go right ahead and drive. And who would have thought that Hillary Clinton taking those, that $10 million and losing an election two years, but only lost because of all that Russian disinformation that was sent. Uh, as, if it, as if it's some sort of fabrication that she eats the blood of or drinks the blood of children i apologize <laughs> do this in memory of me said the children that died so hillary clinton could live forever i, I, I see i like old young or i should say young hillary i thought she was a good yeah. looking lady and i would i would hate fuck old hillary too i'd do her right <laughs> now so fun, i'd dude. do her right now and you forgot to mention you uh, said most traveled secretary of state also most successful least controversial <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough about Hill Dog. Let's move on to our next first lady, but, Laura. But the pantsuit stays on. I was going to say something about pantsuit stays on. That was important. Do you think she has like the little fucking button flaps on her ass? <laughs> like yeah. in the old pajamas? She's, she's got pockets <laughs> on her ass, her, her skin ass. <laughs> mm. All right, let's move on to our next first lady, Laura Bush. Laura Bush uh, worked as an elementary school teacher and a librarian. She met and married George in 1977, and they had a, some twin daughters in 1981. Uh, while he was governor, she um, literally did nothing. She was stayed out of the public. She hosted no events. She just was not into it. But, uh, but when she ran for president, obviously she had to do more. So when she was in the White House, her causes were breast cancer awareness and literacy. She during her, um, her time in the White House, she took many trips to Africa for AIDS relief and awareness. And then after she left the White House, she uh, continued to do work, public speaking, and working for a bunch of nonprofits. Otis Timlin, let's look at Laura Bush here. What do we think? 
Uh, Smasher pass. I'm going to say no and no because I just can't respect someone who would fuck the mentally handicapped. I think that's wrong to take advantage of, of uh, young George like that. He was curious, though. What can you do? But uh, <laughs> no, she is, a, she is a... Like, she should be ashamed of herself the way she looks. <laughs> <laughs> when I said her cause was literacy, it was just teaching him to read. <laughs> <laughs> go talk, Sound go. it out. Ella Pant? No. What's the pH sound? Ella Pant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, Mike Evan McGowan, what do we think about Laura I Bush? I was debating the left as a smash, but no, I can't do it. I can't do it. It's a pass and it's a pass. And... <laughs> wait. wait. If, if I had intercourse with Laura Bush, it would be explosive. It would be like a controlled demolition. It would be insane the way I would just destroy her. She would crumble <laughs> down. The te- like a tower? My cum would melt her fucking yeah. still. And then all of a sudden, a second dick would come. And, <laughs> and then George would be reading to those dumbass pieces of shit kids that grew up to be heroin dealers. Because Bill Clinton put their fathers in prison for bags of weed. Uh, and then Joe Biden let them out. Well, if you introduce the legislation that put them there, that's like me burning down someone's house and 30 years later <laughs> sending Jimmy Carter's dumb ass to build him a mud hut with his wife. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, yeah, you that's exactly roll. what it is. That's the president <laughs> of this country, Joe Biden, or at least in theory. They just I'm put a say, cardboard cutout of him. I'll think. say young Laura is just kind of weird, but I like, I like old Laura. She looks good. She's a good-looking older lady. I change. I do both. <laughs> I saying, no, well, she's a, she's a good looking. I'll be honest. I would smash young Laura, yeah. but I would fucking destroy old Laura. It, yeah. it, old Laura looks like Pelosi. Imagine doing them both. She does the eyebrows? Yeah, yeah. I, she's better both. looking than Pelosi. That, that's a that's 160 years. Of Although she doesn't have the fucking knockers we that need Pelosi to do has. Pelosi like people, like you know, not first ladies, but prominent. Ugly okay, women. we'll save this for the production right, meeting. Well, she'll be, if we do meeting. the update, she'll be President 47. We can talk about <laughs> oh, oh. her husband's knocked in oh, dome. Oh. <laughs> that guy's a, that guy's a, he's going to be fed applesauce dribbling down his face. All like right. Muhammad Ali. We're getting way sidetracked here. Let's move on to our next first lady, Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama, she's a graduate of Princeton and Harvard Law. She met Barack while working at a law firm in Chicago. They were married in 1992 and had two daughters. During the 90s, she worked for a lot of nonprofit groups and was also the assistant dean at the University of Chicago. She was very active during the Obama presidency, often traveling and speaking by herself. It wasn't a package deal. And her um, her big cause while she was in the White House was healthy school lunches. And that is why today we had no longer have fat kids. Mike Effin McGowan. What do we think about Michelle Obama? Why do you go to me first after saying fat kids? That's pretty messed up. I'm just right saying there. they're they're gone. Well, she, she looked like it. a pretty fat kid on the left. She did. So it. maybe it was like a really deep down. I mean, look at her on the left. She's yeah. got a little she chipmunk looks 14 face. 14 and she's disgusting. Wouldn't touch it with a 10 foot pole. On the right, I wish she had the full body because there's something really messed up about this woman's body. And I'm out on all levels. I'm out. Okay. Right. It's, Otis, not racist. We... it's not a racist thing. Just to be clear. <laughs> you, you, yo, bro, you were the only one My who brought up race, though. I know. I know. You're the only I did one Brought up race oh, yeah, I didn't even notice she was black until you said something. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Otis, what do we think about I don't, Michelle Obama? I, I looked at my, my school lunch. I don't see calories, Michelle. Back it up. Uh, <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to say no because unless I had terminal cancer or something, I'm going to say no on both both fronts. I don't like her. I don't. She's our 49th president. She's oh. going to be. I you know think of how this is going to turn out. Trump will win obviously a third election. And then DeSantis will be 48, eight years of that. And then, you know what? They're going to nominate some loser like Paul Ryan, and then she's going to beat him. That's it. Oprah is the vice president. I like it. She's going <laughs> to right. be on the speaking tour. See, but I no, like, never, I, no, no, no. See, I like older current Michelle. I think she's a good-looking woman. But So I'll say no to the young, but I like I like current Michelle. She's I do Malia. Lady. Where'd you get the young from? I mean, how old is she? I think she's in. I think that's a college age. Derby young, uh, but Michelle, that was, Michelle, she's a she's Clinton age right that there. Was the, yeah, that <laughs> was. She's right in his wheelhouse. That's your that's your uh, '90s uh, Michelle Obama. Yeah. That's actually Ashley from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> yeah, that's and, the style. And you mentioned the University of Chicago. That's actually the Illinois State Penitentiary. <laughs> okay, okay, let's move on to our next first lady. Melania Trump. Oh. <laughs> All right. Melania was born in Slovenia, which was part of Yugoslavia at the time. She is the second 
first lady ever not born in America, the first being Louisa Adams, who was born in England. She was a fashion model in Paris and Milan before she moved to New York City in 1996. She met the Donald in 1998, and they were married in 2005. They had one kid together. Uh, her cause as first lady was ending cyberbullying, which is why there's no more cyberbullying today. <laughs> and she is also the very first first lady to pose for tasteful nudes, which you can find by Googling Melania Trump tasteful nudes. All right, Otis, I'm getting ready to put on my shock face when I ask you this one. Melania Trump, smash her pass. Uh, you go Slav. No, uh, it's going to be, a, it's gonna be a, uh, a, a strong, strong smash for both. Think of the tan babies, we'd pop out. <laughs> Sal from Impractical Jokers would, <laughs> would squeeze out of her ass if I had sex with her. Mike, take it. Uh, I, she's just she shouldn't even be in the list. This is the not. Yeah, it's fair. unfair. This is unfair to we, every we, other. We, we've not just first ladies, women in general. It's unfair. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, those are realistic beauty standards in my opinion. But uh, it's just too much. But the nudes. Well, like people like one look at there. her yeah. and then just think like, God damn, Donald Trump gets to fuck that, and that's yeah, why they all funny. hate him. No, they don't <laughs> have sex anymore, dude. They don't. There's no way. They're like fuck. I bet Baron fucks her, but other than that. Oh, Trump, uh, Trump daddy gets it. You and know. so does Don Jr., Eric, <laughs> Giuliani. He puts that fucking chin in there. I would love for them to put out a tasteful sex tape. I, oh. I want to watch Donald They'll be divorced, then. She'll <laughs> be a host on The View. Oh, that would be a good, good yeah. role for her. Yeah. yeah. All right. Melania, she's a full-on smash all the way around. Let us get to our final first lady and our current first lady, Jill Biden. It's not been legitimized. <laughs> All right, obviously, okay, obviously so before we get into Jill Biden, this is something I learned. Joe Biden actually had a first marriage before Jill. She He was married from 1966 to 1972. They had three kids, uh, one daughter and two boys. Uh, one time the wife and the kids were out driving and they were hit by a truck. The wife and daughter were killed instantly and the two boys were badly injured. Those boys being Hunter and Bo Biden. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> just, just laughing. Okay. Laughing is for <laughs> Jill also had a first marriage from 1970 to 1975. She graduated from the University of Delaware in 1975 and went on to work as a high school teacher. She met Joe in 1975 and worked um, as part of his Senate campaign. And they were married in 1977 and had one daughter together, Ashley. Uh, she worked for about 13 years as a high school teacher, and then she started teaching in colleges and getting just all kinds of fucking degrees. Uh, she is the oldest first lady ever in the White House. She was 69 when he was inaugurated, and she's the first first lady to hold a doctorate. So, Otis, let's look at Jill Biden, America's oldest first lady. What do we think? Smash or pass? I would do her throughout Delaware, anywhere, any day, any way. I would just take her anywhere. Jill Biden is the hottest first lady, in my opinion. Uh, young Jill Biden's a fucking. So I'm talking about fast. current. It's yes to both. It, young, even now she looks. She's young. I, young. She's casting couch hot. Old. She's stepmom hot. <laughs> I feel like Did you, you violated clean your a principle. Room? No. Don't make me come there and make did, you clean. Did you it? clean? Hey Hunter, did you clean up those crack pipes? No, I did not, <laughs> Mom. Well, how about I come puff on it? <laughs> and that's how they have intercourse. <laughs> so with George Bush, though, you had a principle about not being able to bang somebody who's married to a handicapped person. But but this guy was like like George. This guy wasn't always handicapped. Yeah, oh no. yes, he was. Go no, look I back in the archives. That. This motherfucker. No, no, didn't I, didn't I say he was big in mass incarceration? So he can't be handicapped. handicapped. Have a great I, idea like spoke, that. He used to speak you have to very, bang the Bush lady. Hey, now. he used to be. I'm going to stop you right there. Joe Biden used to be able to speak very clearly and articulately about locking up black people. Go look it up. <laughs> that's, that's one of fair. his favorite hobbies, that's actually. <laughs> Think about it. They, if I were a few years older, I could have been one of those weed guys he freed. Mike McGowan. She's bangable on the left. I hate to say it, but she's absolutely like, that's like. Silver Fox. Yeah, but on the right, she's disgusting. For a lady what, in what, her what are you talking about? 70s? On the right, she's disgusting. Oh, yeah. my There's, God. Oh, she's come gross. on. I, she's gross. I can't gross. Do it. gross. If we went, If we compared gross. pictures of just how they looked in the White House, she's top ten. She's Maybe my favorite, even more. my personal favorite. Of no, all. you're right, but I'm passing. Because if she were here, principle. I'd like to eat sushi off of her. Her like, husband like, smells hair. On that alone, I can't. Yeah, but he did not. She just did it for the... 
obviously well, okay. she was teaching high school. So oh, we have a split decision on I Joe don't Biden. Like the new Biden. Oh. Okay, save it. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the final proper episode of Smasher Pass, an intellectual conversation about America's First Ladies. We're going to be back with a special wrap-up episode, which is going to be a roundtable. We're going to talk about our top three, our bottom three, our secret favorite, and more. So join us. Yes, I got a lot to think about. You I got, got a, a lot to think about. The got next a lot one, of organizing. The next one is going to be a full. We're gonna we're gonna epilogue and put a period on this fucking series. Let's do it. That's great. So thank you all. This has been Smasher Pass, an intellectual conversation about America's first ladies.